Once you've got your piece of knitted fabric to the length of your desire, then comes a point where you will need to close off your work so that the stitches will not undo themselves. This is called binding off, occasionally called casting off. And in this video, I will show you how to bind off in the most basic sense. Bind off in pattern, and bind off with a flexible edge. Basic binding off. To start off, you will want to knit your first two stitches. After which, you will then pull the loop of the first stitch over the second one. You will then knit another stitch, and like before, you will pull the one previous stitch over this one. You will continue to repeat this pattern of knitting each stitch, followed by pulling over the previous loop until you get to the end of your work. Binding off in pattern. For simplicity's sake, I only demonstrated using one by one ribbing. Binding off in pattern will require you to have a bit of experience understanding your knits and purls. For simplicity, we will say the knits are V-shaped and the purls are bumpy. Binding off knitwise will require you to insert your needle so that way it points away from you. Wrap your yarn around the needle the same direction as you did when you were knitting normally. Pull the loop of the previous stitch over this one. After you make your knit stitch or binding off purl wise, you will need to insert your needle from back to front so it now points towards you this time. After making your purl stitch, you will then pull the loop of the previous stitch over this one. Continue to bind off according to the pattern utilized in your knitted stitch of choice. Check out this video here so you can review simple stitch patterns. Flexible binding off. First, you will knit your stitch as much like you did with the basic binding off method. What is done differently here is that you will have to then pull a loop of yarn through both of these stitches before moving on. You will pick up a loop in the next stitch, bring the yarn over, and draw through both loops. Repeat this to the end. Bonus hack. Those who know how to crochet may recognize right away that the technique used to bind off flexibly emulates the movement of single crochet. If you would prefer, you can take a crochet hook of the same size of your knitting needle and simply perform a single crochet stitch across the top of your work to bind it off. Remember that purls will require you to bring the hook from back to front, whereas knits need you to insert from front to back. Thanks again. Subscribe and stay tuned, and don't forget to check what we have posted in the community tab of our channel, please.